Um, that fatal sound is a collaboration between uh, several partners. You may see our beautiful uh, uh, grassroots sun there, kind of shining the spotlight on uh, local music. Uh, this was designed by uh, the Library Act Commission for us, and we were just thrilled to have it. So let me just quickly kind of take you through what uh, that uh, fatal sound is about via PowerPoint. <laughs> um, we have some missions. One is to, and the most formative uh, core mission, is to literally create a physical space out there in the library where people can go and grab local music CDs. That is local as in faithful artists. And um, we've already accomplished that. And now we have a bin that's called Local Music Now. We have about 50 CDs. And um, they are getting checked out right and left. And people are able to uh, hear sounds from, from bands from the 90s that maybe you know released one album, as well as just um, stalwarts of the musical scene who have numerous albums to their name. Um, we're looking at in the future providing a digital listening space where um, you want to still be able to download because you know we want artists you pay for, but you can listen to uh, some of their music online, as well as you know read a little bio description, all that sort of thing. Um, and uh, very soon we'll start showcasing new albums. Uh, new artists who release an album in the area will try to give them some of the same real estate here in the library as uh, like a new author or a, a book by a local author, that sort of thing. We will definitely want to promote it and uh, make it visible. Um, finally, there's going to be an effort to uh, document some of Fable's uh, you know, music sound. It's, it's a musical scene uh, from from the 30s on up, and try to figure out, you know, uh, what were the ups, what were the downs, what was going on, you know, in the 30s, the 40s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Um, so that's our mission. That's kind of what we're uh, dedicated to doing, and uh, we have a number of uh, partners to make that happen. Um, first of all, the the, the Fable Public Library, who have been so generous to give us their space, and also to uh, generate that local music bin. And uh, also contributing uh, financially to the purchase of the CDs because we will accept donations of CDs from artists directly if they want to, but in general, we want to pay for every CD. That's kind of a central tenet of the creative economy. Um, creative Economy Action Group, which is a volunteer group. We also have nonprofit status for the state. We're continuing to emerge. If you saw the uh, Fable Gallery Guides out there, that's something we did in collaboration with um, the Fable AP and the City of Fable. Uh, sound Warehouse, my here from my Sound Warehouse, uh, which is a great uh, patron of local music in the community uh, down there on Block Street, and then of course the Fable Roots Festival, which we're in the middle of, and uh, has been by all accounts incredibly successful. And thank you very much, Brian, for working with us. You're that was yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and finally, um, for you here today, how could you get involved? If you wanted to. Um, I just threw up a new website uh, today uh, called, well, it's Fable Creates, it's been there a long time, but then forward slash TFS, which is that Fable sound. You can, you can see more information about this program. You can also see the 50 so odd discs that are part of the collection in there. 